Hello and welcome to 67 days to cat and today we are talking about one very very important topic which is pipes and cisterns. There are two pipes A and B attached to an empty water tank. Pipe A fills the tank and pipe B drains it. If the work is let's say one unit, the work of let's say filling the tank or emptying the complete tank is let's say one unit. So then pipe A let's say does the work in x hours. So one hour work for pipe A will be one by x. And similarly, one hour work for pipe B will be one by Y minus. Y minus because it's a draining pipe. So we are saying that pipe B completely drains the tank in Y hours, right? Now, pipe A is opened at 2 p.m. Pipe B is opened at 3 p.m. The tank becomes full at 10 p.m. So 2 to 10, this is eight hours. So eight into one by X and three to 10 means seven hours, seven into one by Y. That is one unit of work, basically filling the tank. Similarly, we can say that if pipe A is opened at 2 and pipe B is opened at 4, the tank becomes full at 6 p.m. So 4 hours here. So 4 into 1 by X and here 2 hours. So 2 into 1 by Y. That is again equal to 1. Now if pipe B is not opened at all, then the time taken to fill the tank is basically I want to find out what is X, right? So how can I eliminate Y? Just multiply it with 2, multiply this with 7. Now, all I have here is 7 into 4 is 28 into 2 is 16. So that becomes 12 upon X, right? So that is equal to 5. So X is equal to 12 by 5 in hours. So I have to get it in minutes, right? So what's the answer here? The answer here is 144. A tank is emptied every day at a fixed point. Immediately thereafter, either pump A or pump B or both start working until the tank is full. On Monday, A alone completely filled the tank at 8 p.m. Let's say the number of hours were X from the starting point, right? On Tuesday, B alone completed filling the tank at 6 p.m., which means that the time taken here is X minus 2, right? On Wednesday alone, A worked till 5 p.m. and B worked from 5 to 7. Here. Total, the time taken is x minus 1. Why? Here it is 6 pm, here it is 8 pm, x minus 2, x. So therefore, 7 pm must be x minus 1. Now, what is happening here? A is working till 5 pm. So A is working for x minus 3 hours. And then B is working for 2 hours. Right? For A, the unit work or per hour work is 1 by x. And for B, per hour work is 1 by x minus 2. So just multiply it and this should be equal to 1. How do we find out x? We'll have to use a quadratic to solve and we'll find out. But what's a better way? What's a faster way to do it? A guided hit and trial. For example, let's take something else. So if I put a 7 here, if I put a 5 here, then again it creates 4 by 7. And you know, I, I'll have a 5 here, right? So that becomes 2 by 5. I'm not getting a 1. If I put a 6 here, that becomes 3 by 6 and this becomes 2 by 4. Again, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2, right? So the answer is 1. So x is definitely equal to 6. So now if both the pipes were used simultaneously, we have so the first pipe will do 1 by 6 work in an hour. The second pipe will do 1 by 4 of the work in an hour. Uh, the LCM is, is 12, so 2 times and 3 times, so this becomes 12 by 5. So this becomes 424. Why 424? Because you know, at x is equal to 6, this thing, 8 p.m. So the work must, had, must have started at 2 p.m. I hope this is clear to you. And what's the amount of time taken here? Which is 12 by 5. So 2 hours and 24 minutes. Therefore, we've marked answer option B. A water tank has inlet of two pipes A and B. All inlets of type A when open bring in water at the same rate. All inlets of type B when open bring in water at the same rate. The empty tank is completely filled in 30 minutes if 10 inlets of type A and 45 inlets of type B are open. Let's say the rate for type A pipes is X and rate for type B pipes is Y. So if let's say there are 10 inlets of type A, so 10 X into 30 minutes and there is 45 inlets of type B, so 45 Y into 30 minutes. This should be equal to unit work, which is filling the tank, right? And in one hour, if eight inlets of type A, so eight X into 60 and 18 Y into again 60, that should also be equal to 
one. If I just equate the two, here I have 300x, here I have 480x. So one side I'll have 180x. Here I have 1350 and here I have 108. So I have 270y on the other side. So x becomes 3y by 2. This is 300x plus this is 45y into 30. So 45 into 30 into if I just put in place of x, I put 3y by 2. This is y. This becomes 1800y. If 7 inlets of type A, so 7x and 27y. So if I have 7x, so that becomes into 3y by 2, 21y plus 54y by 2. And total is 1800y. This if you divide, so this becomes 75y and I have a 2 here. So 25, 3 times and I have, if I take it 18, 25, 4 times. So then I have this 6 times, so 2 into 6 into 4 is 48. I hope this is clear to you.